Scenes from a Perfect World. Another beautiful day, huh, Dad? Yep, another beautiful day, all right. We should go to dinner a little early tonight. We haven't really helped out in a while. Sounds good. Maybe Billy and I can pick some wild asparagus on the way home. Well, that's a good idea. Hey, Dad, can we go to Art Smart's Dart Mart? Well, sure, Billy. No walk to Brady Street is complete without a stop at Art's. Oh, boy. Come on, Grandpa. Come on, Dad. All right, Billy. Watch it now. Don't run in front of the streetcar. I haven't been into arts for a while now. Yeah, me neither. You sure loved this place as a kid. <laughs> I still do. Here we are. Art Smarts Dart Mart and Juggling Emporium. EST 1985. What does that mean? Well, EST means established. That means it first opened in 1985. Wow. Yep. Billy, that's when my father, your great-grandpa, was just about your age. Wow, that's like a million years ago. Slow down, Billy. Don't break anything. Hello, Art. How's business? Hello, Jake. You remember my son, Pat? Sure. Hey, Pat. And this is his boy, Billy. Oh, sure. I know Billy. How are you, Billy? Are you really Art? Like on the sign? Well, the original art was my grandfather. He started the store. Oh, look at this cool stuff, Grandpa. Magic tricks, dartboards, puzzles, frisbees. What are these? Well, let me see there. Uh, it says uh, zombie brain mints. What? You've never tasted zombie brain mints? Here, have one, Billy. Mmm. Here you go, Jake. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes just like brains. <laughs> oh, great, sure. Try one, Dad. Okay, Billy. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at, Dad? Well, I thought I'd get you some juggling balls. You like these? Are you a juggler, Billy? I'm just learning. I've been using apples. Oh, that's no good. Especially if you're just learning. They bruise up when you drop them, and they roll away. See, Billy, these are soft. They don't bounce when you drop them. Yep. Time you really learned to juggle, Billy. It's, it's a Nelson family tradition. Let's see your skills, Jake. Here you go. Well, sure. Toss them on over. One by one now. One, two, three. Hey, you're good, Grandpa. You still got it, Dad. That's nothing. How about a little behind the back action? Careful, Dad. Oh, sorry, Art. Oh, well, that's all right. No harm done. Here, Grandpa. I'll help you. Oh, thanks, Billy. Uh, pick up that display rack I knocked over. Okay. Hey, look, Dad. Plastic poop. <laughs> that's plastic poop, all right. Sure looks real. Why do they call it plastic poop? Does plastic just mean fake? Well, yeah. Plastic just means fake. Well, sort of. Plastic is the material they used to make all sort of things out of back in the old days. Bottles and cups and packaging and, and grocery bags and just about everything. There's really no such thing as plastic anymore. Why, did they run out? No, it didn't run out exactly. It's just that, well, plastic was really bad for the environment. So we decided not to ever use it again. Bad for the environment? Well, yes, once they made it. It never went away. It didn't decompose. It filled up the oceans and killed fish and whales. Dad. It broke down into tiny particles and got into our food and into the very air that we breathe. Dad. That sounds terrible. It was. So what's this plastic poop made of? Like I said, Billy, the word plastic just means fake. It's kind of an old-fashioned word. You don't see that much these days. This fake poop is probably made out of hemp or something. Hemp? Oh, like my shoes and my clothes. Yeah, and our rugs at home and the ink in your drawing pens and your paints and canvases and the paper we use to make books where I work. All sorts of things. And it's not bad for the earth like plastic was? Right, right. So if plastic never goes away, where is it now? 
Well, that's a good question, Billy. I'm not sure exactly. But some really smart folks figured out a way to get rid of most of it. So it's not still killing fish and whales in the ocean? And it's not in our food or in the air anymore? Oh, no, no, not at all. Don't worry about that, Billy. Just about everything is made out of hemp or some other safe material. These yo-yos and boomerangs, those kites over there. Kites? Hey, Grandpa, come here, look at these kites. Hello, Baco. Hey, hello, Art. Oh, hey, Baco. Hey, Pat. Well, look at you. Nice uniform. Thanks. So you're officially a safety officer, huh? Well, I'm still in training, but I've finished the coursework and I'm out on the streets now. Good for you. Well, I figured it was my turn to help out. That's great. Well, hello, Baco. Hey there, Jake. What are you, a cop now? Look out, everybody. There's a cop in here. Dad. What's a cop? Well, that's what we used to call the police. Police? What's that? Never mind, Billy. Dad. Hi, Baco. Hello, Billy. Nice uniform. You're doing safety now, huh? Yep, protect and serve. You think you'd like to be a safety officer when you grow up, Billy? Sure, I guess so. For a little while, anyway. Everybody takes their turn, right? Yep, just about everybody does. Have you had any exciting cases yet, Baco? This morning, I helped a kid who got his head caught in the fence over at Gordon Park. And just now, a couple guys got into a fight at Bradford Beach. I had to break that up. What were they fighting about? (laughs) I don't know. I think they were just trying to show off for their friends. Did you have to pull your gun on them? Dad, oh, I'm just joking around. That's not funny, Dad. Well, when I was a boy, all the cops carried guns. And they used them, too. Don't worry, Jake. Those days are long gone. You know that. Safety officers haven't carried guns for 50 years. Well, of course I know that. But back in the days of money, everybody thought they needed a gun, especially the cops. What's a gun? Well, Billy, you see this dart, Dad? Imagine if it were a bit smaller and filled with an explosive, Dad. Like fireworks? Well, yeah, sort of. And instead of throwing it like you throw a dart, it would be shot out of a little machine you held in your hand at about 1,700 miles an hour. That's crazy. That could kill somebody. Well, that was exactly the point. Dad, that's what they were made for, to kill people. What? Dad. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Billy. There aren't any more guns. That was from the olden days. They're gone now. But, Dad. Dad, so help me. Why do you tell him these things? Well, he asked. I'm sorry. Don't give it another thought, Billy. There's no such thing as guns anymore. Hey, Billy, you gonna take those juggling balls home with you and practice? Yeah. I I got something else you might be interested in. What? Check it out. Just came in, look at this. A crazy cat lady action figure. I I don't know. Well, uh, I, I better get back to my rounds. See you, Baco. Oh, you coming to dinner tonight? Oh, sure, sure. We're bringing wild asparagus. Nice. Uh, see you, Billy. See you, Baco. Oh, here you go, Billy. Look at this. A rubber chicken. What's rubber? Well, Billy, Dad, we've already got a rubber chicken. Well, you can't have too many rubber chickens. <laughs>